and we are live again now just so you know <laughs> there's no music it's just me i did promise you this i've been trying to think of excuses all day not to do this my voice is a little ropey today a little i don't know if you can hear that little groggy today <laughs> but um the rainbow song now if you can just bear in mind when you listen to this song, when you think about rainbows, when you think of colour, every colour is a certain type of energy, uh, healing energy, calming energy, uh, lively energy. Uh, if I see a patient who is, for instance, suffering with severe lethargy as I'm giving that patient healing, I might want to just infuse their aura with just a little bit of red here and there because red is the color of energy and energizing so you know every color that we have is a significant and very meaningful and specific type of energy i was talking with my grandson the other day we were we were on um, um whatever that is uh, not facebook is it um facetime uh, we were on FaceTime and uh, we were talking about colours because he was colouring and he was drawing rainbows. And we were talking about the different shades of each colour. And I was talking to him about what they meant and how they can make people feel calm or they can make people feel sad or what have you. Because colour is very important in our lives. And in fact, very often I will tell my students or I'll tell my patients, if you're having a bad day and you feel like you want a healing day, find a blue scarf or indeed a blue sweater uh, because blue is a healing color and even on a, some subconscious level you're absorbing that energy you're infusing your aura with that energy or if you need a little pep up wear a red scarf and so on and so forth it goes so color is very very important we also talked in the lesson on Thursday about listening with your eyes how weird can you get right but you all know now that I'm so very weird but we do we listen with our we listen with our ears we listen for sound which uh, seeps through our skin we listen with our eyes we even listen with our sense of smell and uh, and our sense of taste because when we make ourselves aware and we make ourselves aware of what we are feeling what we are sensing then we are listening very very carefully to what our body is telling us what our soul is telling us what our spirit is telling us we are very intent on listening and hearing the message through all of those um, mediums so here we go this is going to be the worst rendering that probably i've ever done but i'm going to do it for you any anyway because i <laughs> did promise have you ever made a promise that you regret but you know you've got to go through with it well this is one of those all right here we go so the rainbow song red and yellow and pink and green orange and purple and blue you can sing a rainbow sing a rainbow sing a rainbow too now here's the bit listen with your eyes listen with your eyes and sing everything you see you can sing a rainbow sing a rainbow sing along with me red and yellow and pink and green orange and purple and blue you can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Da da. There you are. My song is promised. And now I'm going to sing you a song which is so much fun. <laughs> See, once I get started, you can't stop me. But this is a song about attitude. A little boy and a little girl. And, um, the little girl has attitude and having positive attitudes means that you can find a way around things. This is a cute song that I learned many, many years ago. A little girl and a little boy in an ecstasy of bliss said the little girl to the 
Oh, sorry. No, see, I'm wrong. Said the little boy to the little girl, pray give me just one kiss. The girl grew back in great surprise. You're a stranger, sir, said she, and I will give you just one kiss. When the apples grow on the lilac tree. The boy was very sad at heart. She was the only one. The girl was quite remorseful at the terrible thing she had done. So with a positive, a definite attitude and wanting to make things right. <laughs> the very next morn. <laughs> I've forgotten the whole thing now. <laughs> so the boy was very sad at heart. She was the only one. The girl was quite remorseful at the terrible thing she had done. So bright and early on the very next morn, he was quite surprised to see his little sweetheart standing in the garden. Tying apples to a lilac tree. Now that just shows that you can make things happen if you are innovative, if you try. <laughs> and even with my croaky voice, there you have it. You thought you were only going to get one song. I gave you two. I'm asking you in your angel action this week to do five actions a day. I wonder if you'll give me ten or maybe seven. Or maybe even more than that. You never know. Until I talk to you again. And I will be talking to you again very soon. Please, please, please. <laughs> Have a very, very, very blessed day.